welcome to our channel. My name is Alba. I'm behind the camera. You have Nas. And in this video, we're going to take you through our three bedroom apartment in the center of Madrid. So we moved to this apartment about seven months ago and we renovated the whole thing because before it was an office space. So obviously there was no kitchen, no bathrooms, everything that you see we designed and we're very proud of it. And yeah, we redid it and it's now furnished and ready to show you guys. So let's get started. Um, so you are in the entrance. So as you come in, you have the hallway that connects you with all of the rooms of the house. And then the first room that we've got here is our walking wardrobe. So we decided to make this small room a walking wardrobe because the apartment being in an office space before, it had no built-in storage. So instead of just taking like a big space of our bedroom to put a wardrobe, we thought let's make this our laundry and our wardrobe and we love it. It turned out so nice. Yeah. And right next to the walk-in wardrobe, we have our second bathroom. So this is the bathroom that we use for when guests come over. And it's a pretty complete bathroom. It has everything. Um, we don't use it that much, but it's great for when we have people over. Um, and in front of these two rooms, we have the kitchen. So we've got the hallway in the middle, and then it comes into the main event of the house, which is an open kitchen and living room. So you've got both of them connected. And this is our beautiful, precious kitchen, um, which again, we designed and we chose a very specific theme. We really wanted uh, wooden countertops and this white tile backsplash. Uh, so everything that we put in here, like the shelves, um, the cabinets, everything matches with the colors, as well as a black sink. So you see that we have different accents throughout the kitchen that match out that black sink as well. And something that um, we really wanted for this kitchen is we didn't have closed cabinets at the top because the whole space is not huge. So it would have made the kitchen like really small and we love the open feel that it has right now. Um, and obviously connected to it, we've got the dining room, well, dining space <laughs> just behind. It's, it only fits a small four-seater, but it's totally enough for us. And when we have people over, we can use this and the living room. So yeah, this is the living room. Again, it's connected and we love this space as well. We love to watch TV, hence why there is a huge TV. Uh, we've got the Christmas tree up right now because it's Christmas <laughs> um, and yeah nice nice sofa um, for us to lay big rug this is Boo Boo which I brought all the way from London um, and he loves it here his corner <laughs> keeps me company and then just behind the living room we have the office so again, this is also a space where we spend a lot of time in and both of us work from home. So it was very important for us to have a dedicated office space. So this could be a second bedroom, but yeah, we turn it into an office. And it's pretty large. Um, it has two full tables, one for each of us and a really nice art uh, wall that we got from Chile that we put up there. And yeah, just this is where we do all of our work. <laughs> We also put up a whiteboard, really good for brainstorming ideas and putting to the list. So yeah, that was a really cool thing that we added. And just behind is the final and um, third bedroom, obviously without our bedroom. Um, this one is an empty room at the moment. It's got this because we've got some guests coming over, so we wanted them to put their things here. But usually the room is empty and you just hold some clean, all of our cleaning storage in this wardrobe. Um, in the future, what we'll do is turn this room into a guest room with a like nice sofa bed, but for now we, we haven't done it yet. And what we did is we painted this wall um, halfway to, to the wall to be blue. It's the only room in the house that is not fully white. And yeah, we did this ourselves and it was pretty fun. You come around and you get to the corridor again. So it kind of goes in circles so you can access the office and the spare bedroom um, from both sides, the living room and the corridor, which is pretty cool. And this becomes kind of our corner slash and suite side of the house. So 
firstly, here on the right we have our main bathroom, which we totally love. Um, it's, uh, it's all white marble, um, which again, we were very excited to have. We have double sinks, um, we've got a huge mirror, and a huge, huge shower with like rain shower, um, which is just amazing, and I love this space. Um, it's so calm and peaceful. And yeah, this is our bathroom. And then, finally, we've got our bedroom, uh, which was very, very inspired by the Bali live design. So it's very minimal, very calm and yeah, Bali uh, style. And it looks like it's just a bed because we decided to were, we weren't gonna have an office here or a wardrobe here that would get a king size bedroom. So, sorry, a king size bed. So it looks like the whole room is just a bed, but we sleep very comfortably. So yeah, that's everything. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. If you like content about Madrid, you're planning to move to Madrid or to visit Madrid, don't forget to check out all our other videos. And we also have a lot of content in regards to what to do in Madrid in our blog. So I'll leave those links in the description. So thank you and see you again next time. And now tell everyone, tell everyone about the, the, the stairs. What do they represent? They represent steps to success. Yeah. Every day you gotta take a little step. <laughs> Even if it leads to nothing, <laughs> literally. <laughs> and then what, what does the bed represent? I don't know, what does it represent? It's, the bed is there because we never sleep on our goals. I sleep, I don't know about it. <laughs> <laughs> Not on and, our goals. And why is the mirror there? Why? So we can look at ourselves and see how we're improving every day. Jeez, don't <laughs> listen to that. Cringy. <laughs>